Good day students, I am Sir Bill and today we will have another lesson. Are you excited? I'm sure you are. But before that, let us start this session with a prayer. Let's pray. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone, to play and love and have lots of fun, shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Alright, so before we settle down, make sure that your area is clean and organized, so there will be no destruction. There's a saying that goes, Cleanliness may be defined to be the emblem of purity of mind. Alright, so may I request our secretary to please check the attendance first? Thank you so much. Now this time, I would like you to follow some rules during our discussion, alright? So this is what we call online netiquette. To learn more about these, please watch this video. Online Etiquette 101 Rule number one, please turn off your microphone unless I will tell you to turn it on. You may or may not show yourself during the session. Rule number two, questions and clarifications will be entertained after the talk. You may turn on your microphone or you may use the chat box. Rule number three, treat everyone how you would like to be treated. And rule number four, have fun and always keep an open mind. This is your teacher, Sir Bill, and let's all be excited to learn. Okay, so today you are going to learn about creating a requisition form. This is under Learning Outcome 2, entitled, Request Appropriate Electrical Supplies, Materials, and Tools Applicable to a Specific Job. Alright, so without further ado, let us start. Our objectives are the following. First, define what a requisition form is. Number two, explain the parts of a requisition form. And three, create a requisition form for electrical tools and materials. Now, let's have a short review about our previous lesson. Can you still remember our previous topic? That's right, very good. We learned about electrical tools and materials. Now let's see if you can still recall. Do you know what tool this is? That's right, it's screwdriver. Next. Very good, it's electrical pliers. Now during the discussion, you will encounter some words which are not common. So, to unlock the difficulties, I want you to identify the synonyms of the given words. When we say synonym, it is a word that has the same or nearly the same meaning to a specific word. In Filipino, it's kasing kahulugan. Okay, shall we start? Let's go! The game is entitled, What's the Word? Again, you will just identify the synonym of the given word. Number one, cost. Is it A, remittance, or B, price? The answer is letter B, price. Number two, description. Is it A, explanation, or B, type? The answer is A, explanation. Last number, 3, total. Is it A, sum, or B, partial? The correct answer is A, sum. Yeah. 
Requisition form. Have you requested some items before? Are you familiar with a receipt? I'm sure you are familiar with a receipt. Now, when we say requisition form, it is a document that a person uses to request items. Say you want to procure or obtain some gardening materials from your office. You need to provide a request form. Teacher, why do we need to create a requisition form? Why don't we write our requested items on a piece of paper without a format instead? The importance of creating a requisition form is to obtain the materials in a formal manner. You know, requesting some items involves financial means. Therefore, you have to provide the information in a presentable way. Take note, it includes names affixed with signatures. So whatever happens, the persons indicated on the form are the ones who are liable. There are a couple of requisition slip formats, right? But I will just present a simple one. Simple lang. Here it is. This is an example of a requisition form. It has number, quantity, description, unit cost, and total cost. Now this is how you fill out this form. We will start with item number. This is where the examples are numbered. Say we have two items to request. Thus, we should put 1 and 2 in this column. Quantity. In this column, the number of pieces of the requested items are placed. For example, we request 5 pieces of screws. Thus, we will write 5. Unit. Unit is the term used to indicate measurement. For example, kilogram, meter, and piece or pieces. So those are just some of the examples. Description. Description is the name of the item itself. You can also describe the name of the item. For example, its color, size, or brand unit cost unit cost is the price of each item for example the price of screw is 5 pesos therefore you should write 5 total cost total cost is obtained when the unit cost and quantity are multiplied again you should multiply quantity and unit cost for example, the quantity is 5 and the unit cost is 5. 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Therefore, the total cost is 25. For your activity, I want you to fill out the following. I will just give you 5 minutes to finish this activity. Good luck! Alright, so these are the answers. Who got perfect score? Very good! Okay, so for your assessment, I want you to create a requisition form using electrical tools, materials, and equipment. So you should choose any electrical tools, materials, and equipment. Now, for the criteria, here it is. You are only given 10 minutes to answer the activity. Alright, again, 10 minutes to answer the activity. Good luck!
Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned a lot today. God bless everyone. Kamsa hamnida.